Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some more Hearthstone and it is finally time, the Grand Tournament is now live. I've saved up a little bit of gold and bought some extra packs, not really a lot, we have four extra packs here, but it is finally time to open up these packs that have been taunting us throughout the entire month of August. So, the expansion itself dropped 21 minutes ago, these servers are incredibly laggy right now and things are taking a very long time to actually open. What we're going to be doing with this video though obviously is opening up all these packs and seeing what we get with the Grand Tournament. Now we're going to get rare uh, first pack nothing really uh, super exceptional but keep in mind all these cards are going to be brand new none of these are going to be repeats of anything I already have and we get a warrior card right away Wow all right he so he's a 3-2 with taunt and his battle cry is give a minion taunt interesting I love new warrior cards I love playing as a warrior you guys know that Wildcat opened Aviana so therefore well I, th I think that means Wildcat just got a legendary under City Valiant uh, combo, deal one damage. That's going to be for the Rogue. We got the Refreshment Vendor, which is going to Battlecry restore four health to each hero. Maiden of the Lake, hero power cost one. And Tournament Medic, uh, restore two health to your hero whenever you inspire. So that's pretty interesting. He's already got eight, eight, yeah, eight health as well. So he's kind of a bulky little card. So I, I didn't really do a ton of research going into this expansion. So I don't know what a lot of these cards are going to really do. So I'm definitely going to enjoy taking my time here and just checking out some of these cards. But I don't obviously want to spend you know, too long looking at all of these. But Power Word Glory, it's going to be a new Priest card. Choose a minion whenever it attacks. Restore four health to your hero. That's okay. Dalaran uh, Aspirant for the Mage, a 3, 5, or 4, which is pretty decent stats. Inspire, gain plus one spell damage. I like that card a lot, actually. Alex Straza's Champion, which is going to be a 2, 3, for 2 for the Warrior. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and charge. God, they keep trying to make dragons work, and so far, like, there just hasn't been a ton of great dragon synergy in Hearthstone. But yeah, new, I mean, new Warrior card. I'm always happy with the new Warrior cards. My favorite class to play in this game is definitely the Warrior, with, I think, the Warlock being a second. Oh boy, as you can see, the expansion once again dropped 23 minutes ago now, so as a result, everybody and their mother is actually online right now trying to open up their packs that have been taunting them throughout the entire month of August, and so... As a result, it's going to be a little bit laggy trying to get these packs open. A Totem Golem! I'm so happy about this. As soon as we learned about this card, this is one of the cards I didn't know about. People ask me if I'm going to be revamping my Totem deck with this thing. Of course I am! He's going to be a 3-4 for 2. He does have overloads, which is essentially a 3-4 three, for 3. But he is basically like the strongest Totem in the game. Of course he's going into my Totem deck. And I'm going to try and revamp my Totem deck a little bit. And we're going to get an Injured... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Kvladder? Uh, <laughs> Valkyrie deal 3 damage to this minion. So, yeah. So, that's going to be like a card that you see. Like an injured blade master in a way. Like, you're only going to see that really played by, by priests. But even then, I don't see it being that great. Pierce of Doom Guard. That's an interesting card. 6, 8 for 7. Tournament Medic. Or Tournament Medic. And Holy Champion. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus 2 attack. Now, that one, I think we're actually going to see a lot. Because, obviously, we see a lot of the um, Northshire Cleric. In Priest X, and, you know, obviously that's synergy whenever you heal somebody. Um, it's pretty nice, so I think that's going to be a card we're going to see a lot of. I would just like to open I'm not even going to, like, preview them. I just want to open them. All right, so we get a rare. Ooh, epic. I got, oh, see, I, I wish I would have preview because it's always so much more fun when you actually see that you're going to be getting a medic or getting an epic. Uh, Murloc Knight, Inspire, summon a random Murloc. <laughs> He's a 3-4 for 4. Whenever you use your hero power, more Murlocs show up. That's awesome. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Avoid Crusher, uh, Inspire, destroy a random minion for each player. That's interesting. I wonder if that could count. Does that count the Void Crusher? Like, would the Void Crusher end up destroying itself? I don't know. The Tuscar Jouster for the Paladin. Reveal a minion in each deck. This is going to be a jousting one, obviously. If it costs, if yours costs more, restore 7 health to your hero. Wow. So 5-5 five, five for 5, which actually isn't that bad anyway. And there's like a 50-50 chance, I suppose. That, you know, you will end up getting 7 health to your hero as a battle cry. So that's actually not too bad of a card, to be honest. And enter the Coliseum, our first epic of this expansion, going to be for the Paladin. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. That's obviously going to be very situational. But, um, yeah, I actually didn't check out the Shaman card down there at the bottom. So that's kind of sad. I wish I would have checked that out. Come on, Legendary. Uh, no Legendary for me. Flame Lance, we saw that. And the Spell Slinger, we saw that, um... 
in this week's Tavern Brawl. Shadow Pan Rider, this is going to be game plus three attack as a combo, so it could potentially be a six, seven for five if you combo it, like let's say you coin into him. So that could actually be a pretty good card, I think overall. It's, I think it's going to be a good card for the Rogue. And again, I don't play much Rogue, so what do I know? And Worm Rest Agent for the Priest, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and taunt. See, nah, they, they, lo they love trying to synergize those dragons, man. They love trying to synergize them. I have a good feeling about this pack. I have a good feeling about it. Although it's it's lagging right now, so I can't I can't preview. Come on, baby, I want to preview. Let me preview. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, all right, there we go. There we go. And we got two rares in this one. Two rares. No golden or anything like that. Fist of Jaraxxus. That's the Erdar Lord of the Burning Legion, don't you guys know? Uh, when you play or discard this, deal four damage to a random enemy. Okay. That's eh, it's situational and random, but it could be kind of neat. Tor er, tournament attendee. Could be okay. It's a 2-1 with Taunt. We actually saw him, I believe, in this week's Tavern Brawl. Ancestral Knowledge. Draw two cards with an overload of two. Eh, okay. I mean, it kind of seems like a worse... Um, Arcane Intellect for the Mage. Uh, Holy Champion, uh, when your whatever character steal game plus attack. We saw that earlier. Very good card, I think. Argent Watchman can't attack. Inspire can attack as normal this turn. So it's going to be a two. That's just that's an odd card. It can't attack, but it can attack for one turn if you use uh, your hero power that turn. So that's interesting. I, I like how this is going to be just an interesting like concept. Like I want to make like an Inspire deck. You know, an entire deck built around, like, inspiration. Maybe an entire deck based around jousting. You know, gimmick-style decks. Definitely looking forward to that. But rare. Uh, we're going to get four commons and a rare here. Refreshment Vendor, we saw that. Flame Lance, we saw that. Bolster, give your taunt minions plus two, plus two for the warrior. Interesting. Interesting. I always love new warrior cards. It's obviously my favorite class to play in the game. Knight of the Wild. And whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. So, potentially, you can get that thing... It's kind of going along the same idea that a lot of druid decks are going with, is that it's getting out the big scary creatures pretty quickly, which is really all I think the druid class is about. Uh, at least most of the decks I see anyway. Obviously, there's some different ones. But uh, now who you got some Shadow Pan Riders. A Ball of Spiders. I did I did hear about this one before the expansion drop. Ball of Spiders. Summon three 1-1 one, one web spinners. <laughs> and there's controversy as to whether or not it's a good card or not. I can't really tell, to be honest. It could be potentially great, but it's, it's a very slow card, which doesn't really fit into a lot of Hunter decks. Uh, demon Fuse. Give a demon plus three plus three. Give your opponent a mana crystal. Because, yeah, giving a thing plus three plus three for two mana is obviously pretty good. But giving them a mana crystal is obviously not very good. So we'll have to see. And Silent Knight, which I like the pun there, who has Stealth and Divine Shield. That's an interesting card. I kind of like that. That's the first Stealth Divine Shield card, I believe, in Hearthstone. Definitely interesting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, we got that pick. Oh. Whoa! Golden King Zelic. Which I said in this week's Tavern Brawl when, it, when I was playing as the Hunter. And I'm like, the King Zelic, I don't like this card because you have to reveal a minion in each deck. And if yours costs more, you draw it. So you're basically drawing a card that costs a lot. So it's not really going to help you out too much. But again, it's a 3 2 for 2 that may allow you to draw a card. It could be okay, but it's our first golden card of the expansion. So I'll be sitting a little bit happy about that. Undercity Valiant, we've seen that a couple times now. Its combo is going to deal 1 damage. A convert for the priest. Put a copy of an enemy minion into your hands. So I'm assuming you get to choose. Okay, that's actually. Okay, convert is. That's interesting. Epic time. Lock and load for the Hunter, which we obviously saw this week's Tavern Brawl. Each time you cast a spell this turn, add a random Hunter card to your hand. Could be okay. Could be okay. Depends. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. We're lagging. We're lagging. I feel like this is going to be a long video because there's a lot of packs here, and I've never actually seen any of these cards before. So I actually want to take the time to read them and such. But I'm okay with that. I like long videos here on yours Let's Plays. All right, a new card for the warrior, my favorite. Bash, deal three damage, gain three armor. Mm. That's actually not the worst thing in the world. Initially, I'm like, eh, that's not really that great. But if you think about the fact that you could gain three armor by hero, or gain two armor by hero powering for two mana, so for three mana you get three armor, which you know, it's the same. It's the same like a one for one mana for armor, and you get to do three damage at the same time. It's not, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's terrible. Wildcat got Confessor or something, so that's the second legendary for Wildcat I've seen today. That jerk. And Dragonhawk Rider, I think it's a new one. Oh yeah, we saw this in the Tavern Prawl. Gain Wind Fury this, uh, whenever you use Inspire for that turn only, which is very, very interesting. 
Dump -dump -bum, bum -bum -bum, bum -bum -bum -bum. Come on, baby. I can smell the legendaries. I even took the time to add this fancy card back here for the grand tournament. All right, so I expect to get some legendaries here. Oh, boy. Okay, so apparently... Oh, it was, it was like just hovering there. It was like letting me know, holy crap, you have a legendary. Oh, boys. Oh, boys, here it comes. All right, Lowly Squire. Yeah, these guys all look fine. Seal of Champions. Give a mini plus three attack and divine shield. I actually kind of like that. But, ladies and gentlemen, our legendary... We get Fajora Light Bane. Whenever you target this mini with a spell, gain Divine Shield. And it's going to be a 3-4 for 3. I think it's a good card. It's a neutral card as well, which I think is pretty good, to be honest. 3-4 uh, for 3, that's a good, pretty good stat line, in my opinion. That's as, about as powerful as, like, a spider tank. But whenever you target it with a spell, so if you want to buff it in one way or another, you're going to give it Divine Shield. So you buff it and give it Divine Shield, so it could be potentially very powerful. I, I think it's a cool card. Obviously not the best card in the world, but I think it's cool. It's our first Legendary of this expansion. Hurry up and open here. Gosh, it's so laggy. I wish there wasn't, like, such, like, this delay. Like, I think that on, like, the server end, they're having difficulty generating, like, uh, the packs, like, when you actually open them. So, it's, oh, Mur is that, we got another Murloc Knight, which I think is really cool. This card is so interesting. The sparring partner, Taunt, and give a, uh, give a minion Taunt as its battle cry as well. It's weird. I think they noticed that, like, the, the, basically the aggro warrior, the, the warrior where you basically are just throwing out all these patrons like your patron warrior. I feel as though maybe they're like trying to counter that a little bit by trying to slow down the warrior meta a little bit, I suppose, by giving in taunt cards and stuff maybe. I don't know, but I obviously I like warrior cards. Another Murloc Knight. You gotta love Murloc Knight. Summon a random Murloc whenever you inspire, which is great. And Flame Juggler. Deal one damage to a random enemy as its battle cry. Two, three for two, which honestly is decent stats. That's actually one of the better ones. Like There's a lot of two, three for twos that don't have any battle cry at all and so flame juggler is basically going to be taking over those cards making those other two three for twos just completely obsolete yeah it's kind of sad what do we got here come on load faster load faster more packs more packs more cards i need them my precious oh my goodness i can't even click them won't even let me open come on taking so long such lag i think it's only gonna get worse because more people are gonna be trying to get on but we got another four commons and a rare Gadgets in Jouster, which is going to be a little Goblin Jouster, which is obviously hilarious. And its battle cry is revealed many in each deck if yours cost more gain plus one plus one. So it's, it's going to be a Joust that could be potentially a two, three for one mana. So it could be good. So in Jousting decks, I think that's definitely going to be a staple. Um, maybe not so much in other decks, but it could be potentially a really good card. Uh, Muckla's Champion, so that's definitely, that's gonna be a monkey riding a hippo, looks like? I can't tell. Inspire, give your other minions plus one, plus one. I like that card a lot, but it obviously it costs five mana, so it's not gonna be very useful to a late game. Evil Heckler, it's gonna be a 5-4 for four, four, which is about the same, I think, as, uh, as Tazdingo and Master Jouster. And basically, you're gonna joust if yours costs more, gain taunt and divine shields. That could be potentially a very nice card. We saw that in this week's Tavern Brawl. Oh my goodness, just open faster. <laughs> it's pain, it, it, it's it, like the pain is real as to how slow this is going to take. Come on, it, we can't be doing this after every single. All right, I'm just going to start opening really quick. Like, all right, uh, King's Defender, a new uh, weapon for the warrior. If you have a minion with taunt, gain plus one durability. So it's potentially a 3-3 three, three for three, which really isn't great, but it's okay. And the rest of these cards we've actually already seen so far. So... We can go ahead and move on to the next pack, assuming it actually goes in the hole. <laughs> Come on, baby, let me open. Nope, we're going to take longer, aren't we? Ah, shuck. Oh, there we go. Flame Juggler, Warhorse Trainer. That's a new one. Uh, your Silverhand Recruits have plus one attack. All right, so we just further trying to, along with the Quartermaster and Buster for Battle. And yes, another card's going to make it so your Silverhand Recruits are a bit better. Flame Juggler we saw before. We saw him. Power Shot, that's a new one, I believe. Deal two damage to a minion and the minions next to it. So, yeah, deal two damage to up to three minions. That could be potentially pretty good for three mana so we'll have to see how that's gonna play out but yeah i like that warhorse trainer that's kind of a neat little card for the paladin i want to like the paladin i do but i just never i can never do well with the paladin maybe it's because i don't know as much about the class but i like i like a lot of the paladin cards and hopefully with some of these new cards we'll be able to get some really cool stuff especially the murloc knight which we keep getting more of 
Bogard Lieutenant, uh, Inspire Game Plus One Health. So we saw that, I believe. The Coliseum Manager, Inspire, return this minion to your hand. It just seems annoying. Like, every time, like, I'm gonna have him out on the board. I'm like, well, I don't want to use my hero power because it's gonna take my, my guy off the field. <laughs> like, why would that card be useful? I don't, maybe if you use, like, hurt or something, but, like, I don't know. Uh, Flash Heal, restore five health for one mana. That's, uh, I look. Seems really good, to be honest. For one mana, like, uh Because for three mana, you can restore eight health with a healing touch for the druid. Like, Flash Heal seems to be very powerful. I don't know. Oh, what do we got here? You know, I have a feeling this would not take as long. Oh, epic! Alright, so we got a lot of new cards. Well, actually, we got two new cards here. So we got Confused, which is going to be an epic for the Priest. Swap the attack and health of all minions. <laughs> that could be fun. And uh, Druid of the Saber for the Druid. It's going to be a 2-1 for 2. Choose 1. Transform to gain charge. So it'd be 2-1 with charge. Or plus 1, plus 1, and stealth. Um, so you could be like a 3-2 with stealth or a 2-1 with charge, which essentially is like a Murloc. Huh. Doesn't seem to be that great, to be honest. The stealth one, I think, is the obvious choice, but then again, in the right circumstance, maybe you'll want to charge instead. You know, you never know. Come on! Uh, oh, eh, 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 eh. Alright. Double rares. Silver Hand Regent! And Inspire Summon a 1 1 Silver Hand Recruit. So, yeah, alright. So, basically, if you have this card on the board and you use your hero power, you're gonna get two 1 1 Silver Hand Recruits, which is pretty interesting. Thunder Bluff Valiant, Inspire, give your totems plus two attack. <gasps> I want to add that to my totem deck, but he's not a totem. I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. And of course, the North Sea Kraken, we saw him in this week's Tavern Brawl. Uh, we saw this, well, this rare is a different guy. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the K and call him uh, Baldir Raider. So it's going to be plus two, plus two if you inspire. So for seven mana, you can use your hero power and summon him as a 6-6. Six, six. Could be potentially good. And Argent Watchman can't attack. So that's that weird one that can't attack. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, come on now. Oh, oh, there we go. I assure you, it's not my computer being slow. It's just the server. So, um, so we got a couple Dalaran Aspirants here. Dragonhawk Rider we saw. Okay, so we've seen all these cards already before. Dun, dun, dun. So far, we've only gotten the one Legendary and only a handful of Epics. Actually, I think we've got maybe two Epics or so, so far. So definitely hoping for a bit more of the old luck. Ooh, Golden Void Crusher for the Warlock. All right, we also got Saboteur, which is going to be a neutral card. Uh, your opponent's hero power costs five more next turn. All right, so that's going to be trying to shut down any hero power usage. But yeah, I mean, that's really not that bad of a card. 4-3 for 3 is decent stats anyway. Uh, Void Crusher we saw earlier, but this one's golden and looks really cool. Maiden of the Lake we saw it, Ice Rager. Okay, so we saw all these cards before. But, uh, yeah, gold card. Very, very nice. Oh, okay, we're, be we're being a little bit quicker here. I like it. But, unfortunately, we get the three commons and a rare buccaneer. It's going to be uh, for the rogue. Whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus one attacks. That would also count your hero power, I would believe. Orgrimmar Aspirant, and it's going to be Inspire. Uh, give your weapon plus one attack. I like that card a lot. I think I'm going to use that quite a bit. It's going to be a 3-3 three, three for three, which is... Decent stats, and it's going to continue to gain attack every time I armor up, which I'm going to be doing a lot. This is going to be a fencing coach. 2-2 two, two for 3. The next time you use your hero power, it costs 2 less. So essentially, it's going to give you like a free hero power as a battle cry. So that could be potentially pretty good in certain situations. And Clockwork Knight, which is going to be a little Clockwork Gnome on a mechanical horse. 5-5 five, five for 5. Give a friendly mech plus 1, plus 1. Alright, so they didn't completely abandon the uh, mech cards here with this expansion. They're still trying to uh, still trying to bolster them up a little bit. Still trying to give them new cards to work within the whole mech theme that we got in Goblins vs. Gnomes. Coliseum Manager, we saw that before. I don't understand how that card's supposed to be good. Uh, Argent Horse Rider, he's going to have Charge and Divine Shield. Alright, so he's like a mini uh, Argent Crusader. Uh, Ancestral Knowledge, draw two cards with an overload of two. So you can use that on turn two and then only have one mana on turn three. Which, eh. We got the Saber again, King's Illuk again. So who knows? Oh, not, not, okay, we need a little bit of luck here. Let's get a little bit of luck. Yes, just like that. Now. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Come on, you were it was working so well. It was allowing me to open up packs so quickly before. 
Now it's like, ah, oh, we're going back to being slow. Now we're going back to being slow. All right, here we go. Epic! Shadow Fiend for the Priest. Worm Crest Agent for the Priest. Whenever you draw a card, reduce its cost by one. Ooh, 3-3 three, three for three anyway, too. Yeah, I definitely see that being a good card. Definitely see that being a good card. But another Ball of Spires and Living Roots for the Druid. Choose one. Deal two damage or summon two 1-1 one, one Samplings. Hmm. Hmm. Could be an okay card, I think. Not great, but okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. We're actually able to open these ones actually relatively quickly. Let's see here. Frigid Snowball. This could be a 2-6 for 4, so it's a bulky card. It does like no damage, but it's also going to allow you to have some spell damage. I like more spell damage stuff, because I like the idea of spell damage decks. Like, you just do a lot of damage with spells. Tiny Knight... Uh, Wildcat got his third legendary. Uh, Tiny Knight of Evil. So it's going to be like a little ni evil knight for the Warlock. And whenever you discard a card, gain plus one, plus one. That's interesting. Tournament attendee. And we've seen that before. Undersea variant or Valiant, we've seen that before as well. Okay. I think it's gonna take so long to like understand all of these new cards. <laughs> That's gonna be the thing. Like I think initially I'm just gonna make like an inspired deck, or maybe I'll just make like a warrior deck right from the get, which features some of these new cards, but maybe not like a full-on gimmick deck featuring all of them. Golden Tournament Attendee! Alright, more gold, more gold. Silent Knight, Lights Champion. Uh Really? Silence a demon? Like, <laughs> that makes sense, like, because obviously this game is, like, based off WoW, and that makes a lot of sense, because paladins, like, paladins, like, holy soldiers, like, people of the light, they have extra bonuses when facing demons, which, so it makes sense, but, like, in, in the context of Hearthstone, like, Light Champion doesn't do anything, like, Silence a Demon, you want me to tell you about all the demons in this game? Warlock, that's it. Uh, the only, like, neutral demon, I think, is Elden Storm Rage, the legendary card. I think that's the only neutral demon card that there is. So, <laughs> I can't see him being that great, to be honest. Uh, Silent Knight, a lowly squire, inspire, gain plus one attack. I actually kind of like that card. Uh, and then, of course, he's Silent Knight. But that's weird. That's, that's definitely a very gimmicky card that I don't see being very being very useful because it's only going to be it's only going to have a real it's essentially going to be a 4-3 for 3 4-3 for 4 was it or maybe it was for 3 I can't even remember and uh, it's only really going to work if you're facing a warlock and shady dealer if you have a pirate game plus 1 plus 1 alright so they're trying to work on the old pirate deck I like it a couple more living roots a clockwork knight we actually had that already well I would imagine since there there's like a hundred something new cards with this, and so I'm, I'm bound to be getting a lot of repeats, especially because you're going to be getting a lot of common cards here, opening these up, because obviously I opened up a bunch of packs, and so I'm going to be getting a lot of commons. Ah, especially when you get four commons in a rare, Gadgets and Jouster, that's our second one, I believe. Alex Ross is champion, that's our second one. And alright, so those are, all, those are all repeat cards, but uh, we're, we're basically filling out the old collection. Just filling out the collection. Hmm, any day now. Just waiting. There! Alright, double rare pack. Okay, a Wild Walker, and Wildcat gets another legendary. <laughs> but then again, I think he's opening way more packs than I am. He's probably opening them also very, very quickly. Uh, Fallen Hero, which I like that card a lot for the mage. Wild Walker, we got two. We got both of ours for our collection right here. So, Battlecry is going to be give a friendly beast plus three health, uh, another shady dealer, and a silver hand regent again. Oh my goodness, slow down there! Ah, I was gonna, I was gonna write him, but I uh, know, no, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. I was gonna be like, why don't you save some for me, Captain Legendaries over here? I've only gotten the one, a Pit Fighter, a five six for five. Uh, that's not a bad card, really. That's like pretty good stats. Like it's not, it's not uh, great. It doesn't have like a good effect or anything like that, but it's got pretty good stats. And I like this card a lot. I love the ogre cards. Mogor is champion. 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. 5-8. I like it. It only costs 6. I like it. I love the cards that have a chance to attack the wrong minion. I think they're hilarious. And yeah, I would love to make an Ogre deck. That would just, like, I don't have Mogur the Ogre, though. So that, that kind of, like, limits my my Ogre deck making potential. Um, let's see here. Brave Archer. That's a new one for the Hunter. And Spire. If your hand is empty deal two damage to the enemy hero so it only works if your hand is empty which rarely it is 
Huh, interesting. Fallen Hero, King's Elec. All right, 24 more packs. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this one was actually quick. Allowed me to look at him right away. Uh, oh, Golden Living Roots. That's like the freaking eighth Living Roots I've gotten so far. And Darnassus Aspirant, Battlecry, gain an empty Mana Crystal, which obviously is really good. Death Rattle, lose a Mana Crystal. Okay, that's an interesting card. I like that card a lot. That's very, very nice. And aside from that, we've seen the rest of those cards already before. But that's an interesting card. So it gives you like a temporary little buff while he while he's out there, you know. So and you can make plays with that pretty easily. That's a cool card. I like that. I really do. Oh, of course, the last one will open up really quickly. So this one's going to take freaking ever. All right. Oh, this one's got an epic. All right, boys. Epic is going to be another lock and load for the hunter. Well, at least we... Or filling out the collection, I suppose. We've seen the rest of these already, but except for Effigy, which is going to be a seat, a new secret for the mage, because we all need we all know they need more of those. When a friendly minion dies, summon a random minion with the same cost. Okay. Interesting. That could be a fun little one. I'm actually starting to play a mage a bit more anyway, so. Dum bum 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 bum. Alright, double rare pack. And we get a Golden Coliseum Manager, which I'm probably just going to disenchant, to be honest, because while I love having golden cards, I don't see how that card could be good. <laughs> it makes it so you don't want to use your hero power, because it's going to keep sending a guy, off, like, a body off your board, like, away. Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. That'll be some dust, I suppose. <laughs> what do we got here, boys? Uh, rare? Hmm. All right, double rare. Another Murloc Knight. We've seen him getting a lot of those. A Tuscar Jouster. Did we actually check? Yeah, we've seen this earlier. Uh, if you win the Joust, you get seven health return to your hero. Another Living Roots. A Wrath Guard. I'm yet to actually see this. So whenever this minion takes damage, also deal that amount to your hero. Okay, that makes sense. Gets a 4-3 for 2. Holy crap, which is like great stats. But whenever he takes damage, that damage is also going to go to your hero. My brother has already opened up a Legendary. So that feels good. That feels good. <laughs> considering I've gotten one and I'm already like over 30 packs in. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll get lucky and like the final packs will just be chock full of them. Uh, a Bash? That's a... We already saw that. We've seen all these already, actually. And a Wormwrist Agent, which is if you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and taunt. So it could be potentially a 2-4 with taunt if you're holding a dragon. Trying to get more people to play around with the idea of a dragon deck. Dragon Priest, huh? That's what that's what they're going for. The old Dragon Priest. <laughs> All right, uh, you be, you be a double rare. Lance Carrier. It's gonna be like a, it's a little, it's like a little baby. Oh, it's a little baby orc. All right, so Valkyrie, give a friendly minion plus two attack. I like that card. That's gonna be very good for like aggro style decks. Actually, it's a one two for two, which isn't great, but the extra two attack to another minion is pretty good. Got our second flash heal, uh, another tiny of evil, another Darnassus aspirant. Oh, another epic. Oh, another totem golem. All right, so we got both our totem golems. I'll have to craft it. Beautiful. And our epic is going to be an arcane blast for the mage. Deal two damage to a minion. This spell gets double bonus from spell damage. My brother has already opened... Oh, he opened up a golden card. Okay. Uh, or maybe that was legendary. I couldn't tell. Uh, arc it went by too quick. But arcane blast. That's interesting. So it gets double the damn bonus from... Uh, huh... It only goes to a minion, but still, like, so let's say, for example, you have two plus one spell damage guys on the board, right? So this is going to be a deal six damage for one if you're running, like, a spell power mage deck, which is something I, I love. Like, the idea of a spell power mage deck, I think, would be fun. Like, uh, same thing with, like, spell power rogue. So, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, just a rare and four commons. A brave archer again. Fist of Jaraxxus. All right, we've seen all these cards. We're starting to get to the point where we've actually seen a lot of these cards already. Dump a dump bump, bump bump bump, dump a dump bump. Mercy Kraken, turn. Oh, Healing Wave, that's a new one. All right, so restore seven health, and so that can be to a minion or your hero. Uh, reveal a minion in each deck of yours is more. Restore 14 instead? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> so with this thing, you, you as a shaman could joust, right? Let's say you're, you're you're knocking on death's door, you know, you're knocking on death's door, you're getting down there, you got like 10 health left, they have 25 or something, you know, they're, they're just rushing down really good. You can run out the old healing wave, right? You win the joust, suddenly you get 14, you're back up to 24 health. Like, that's just, that's crazy. Obviously, it's not that good. Chances are, if you're down super low health anyway, it's not going to help you that much. But still, uh, <laughs> that's pretty insane. I like that a lot. Let's see here. What next? What next? What next? Da -da 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 -da. All right. Four commons and a rare again. Uh, all repeats at uh, that time. All repeats. But at least things are going a little bit quicker right now. They're not uh, taking as long to open. All repeats, but we got our second King's Defender. I like to have as many warrior cards as possible. I like to fill out the old warrior collection. Okay, I got another legendary. Goodness gracious, just insane. Just insane. Tusker Totemic. Ooh, I like this. So this is going to be summon any random totem. Interesting. I love that. I love it. It could be any totem at all. I might have to revamp the old totem deck to actually include some of these non-totem cards, but they interact with totems. That could be fun. Burgle for the rogue. Add two random class cards to your hand from your opponent's class. Huh. So it's class cards, not just class spells. That's interesting. That's an interesting little card right there. It's a new one, obviously, for me. I like that. Oh, we're going to be slowly opening. On the bright side, I can take a lot of these cards that I have that are going to be repeats. Like a, like all these uh, all, all these repeat cards I have. I'm going to be able to disenchant them and use them to craft other cards, which would be obviously be pretty good. Light Champion, that really weird card that I don't see a good purpose for. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. More rares and a common. Alex has Alex draws a champion. I think that's our second one, or maybe that's our third. I can't remember. Warhorse Trainer. Uh, your Silverhand recruits have plus one attack, so I think it's the second one we've gotten of that. Down to the final ten. Ladies and gentlemen, the final 20% of the packs is upon us, and we have a legendary right in this one. All right, all right. So what's gonna be in this one here? All right. So we get a couple of rares and a legendary. Another Tusker Totemic, a fencing coach, Thunder Bluff battery. And all right, who's it gonna be? Oh, conf Confessor Paltris, who is going to be <laughs> a priest legendary, which the class don't really play a lot. But whenever you inspire, you summon a random legendary minion, which is pretty insane. But this thing has like artificial taunt in that it's going to be a 5 4 that basically has taunt because you're going to want to kill it so it's inspire it doesn't take effect and it does cost seven mana so on turn nine you can play this inspire and then get a random legendary we'll have to see that's pretty cool i'll definitely try that out but yeah it's my second legendary of this expansion oh here we go we get an epic in this one our epic is going to be a recruiter for all classes. Inspire, add a 2-2 squire to your hand. Huh, not too bad. I kind of like that. A little 2-2 squire, not bad. Uh, spawn of shadows, deal 4 damage to each hero. Ow. Uh, wrath guard, which, yeah, we've seen the rest of those already before. Interesting, interesting. You gotta love when you get new cards. Whole new expansion, all new cards, whole new meta game, hopefully, anyway. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun stuff. Another King's Defender, and we've seen the rest of these already. Oop, open up. Open Sesame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope I'm just, like, sitting there spinning, and it's like, come on. You gonna, you gonna let me open? You gonna let me open? Uh, these are all repeats for me. I wonder how much dust I'm going to end up with at the, at the end of this. So far, I'm happy with the cards I've gotten. Obviously, you want, like, a legendary every single pack you open, but, uh... <laughs> I feel as well I've gotten some pretty good cards here. Are these any any new ones? Uh... No, I believe we've actually seen all these already before. Alright, five more. Five more packs, ladies and gentlemen. What will there be? What does the future hold? That's... Who, who says that? Is it the Thrallmar Farce here? I think this guy says that. What does the future hold? Another healing wave for the Shaman? Right, another Tusker Totemic? He's getting so many of them. 
Da -da -da, three more packs. Will there be a legendary in these final three packs? Time will tell. We got two rares in this one. We go golden. Aw. Oh, when I, I opened that up when it said golden, so I thought we got a golden warhorse trainer, which would have been cool because I like that card a lot. But we get a Darnassus Aspirant for the Druid that's going to be golden. So that's kind of cool. We got the little flowers falling down and everything there. Polymorph Boar. That's really the first one I've gotten. That's a pretty good one. Transform a minion into a 4-2 boar with charge. And that can work for anybody. So it's essentially like a huffer. So you can attack somebody with your minion, then trade and change them into a huffer, and then have that huffer attack. Like it's it's a pretty good card, honestly. I like it a lot. Alright, what do we got here, boys? We got two rares. Alright, Thunder Bluff, Va Valiant. I keep wanting to say variant. <laughs> Whenever I see that. Alright, two more. Two more. What will hold? Oh, legendary in the second to last pack. All right, all right. Who will we get? Who will we get? Who will we get? Well, we've seen all these before already. So, oh. <laughs> I get a repeat. <laughs> Julia Lightbane, welcome back. I didn't already have one of you. Well, that's gonna be what four hundred dust, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Of all, like, there's so many legendaries in this new expansion, and I get a repeat. <laughs> and with the final pack, we're going to be ending things off with a four commons and a rare. But we're going to get a golden demon fuse for the warlock. And ending things off with an injured Valdir. <laughs> All right, so that's going to conclude my pack opening video here. Uh, what we're actually going to do, though, is I'm going to go to the collection here just to see how much dust we're going to get, and then we're going to end things off there. I am going to be crafting some cards, but I don't think I'm going to include that here in the video because I'm probably going to be sitting here for like an hour going, huh, what ones do I want to What ones do I want to have in there? Look at that. Seven living roots plus a golden one. <laughs> like, Oh, goodness. So we got 1,085 cards that we can actually disenchant. But I did get some golden ones, so I'll be able to disenchant those as well. But, yeah, so we got nine uh, repeats for rares and 101 repeats for commons, which is insane. But, yeah, I'll actually have just enough to craft one legendary if I would want to. Or I could craft, you know, a bunch of commons or maybe try and fill out the collection, which I'll probably do. But I'm not sure, again, exactly which cards I'm going to be trying to go ahead and get here. Um, I'm definitely happy we have this, you know, whole new expansion full of new cards and new stuff to play with. I think that's gonna be pretty great. So, like for example, King Zulk, I have a golden one here, so that means I can get rid, I can get rid of one of my uh, non-golden ones. Oh, oh, but it's lagging. I might have disenchanted both of them. Uh oh, Alec Jousting is awesome. Oh, there goes one. Did I get rid of both of them? Nope, I only got rid of the one. All right, awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this pack opening for the Grand Tournament. And if you did, please share the ring where you guys feel the deserves. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.